Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph. I'm here with Draco. And today we're taking a look at the new, new patch here for Tainted Grail Conquest, the Tainted Grail digital game that uh, we really like. This game is so good. Played it a bunch, and, and I I was surprised when I got the uh, news that the this was like the last big patch before the actual sort of full release of the game. I thought the game was already completed in my last stream. I thought I was playing the full game. I'm I'm sorry, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, I mean, I played this from way back in the alpha when it was like pre-production and the development of this game is amazing. Like it's like a totally different game right now. So uh, I think we'll just get into it. I hope the sound levels and everything is okay. Let me know in the live chat if there's any issue with like if my voice and the music and everything doesn't match up. I actually think I will just go in here, lower the monster volume a little bit so that you can hear me fine. All right, let's get started playing. Now in this game, if you haven't seen it before, it's a, what should I say? It's a, a rogue style game, which is basically we keep playing the same thing over and over, but like you unlock things as you go and yeah, it's really cool. So let's start a new run here. I just did a test run here earlier today just to see so the game worked. So we will pick a um, role here. We I already made a sort of a character and there's like an intro, intro and all that. But I'm gonna skip that today if you want to see that. That is in my last stream that I did. And that stream is just called the huge new huge new update. I think it's called uh, like a month ago or so or two months. So. Um, I'm just gonna pick one here. I think I am going to go for the. Uh, let's let's see. Can I pick anyone I want? Yeah, I can. Uh, so this is the life stealing one. I do like this one. Let's do the berserker. And difficulty. Okay, I can't set that right now. I think it's when I keep playing, I can increase the difficulty as well, uh, because you will sort of get corruption. I think it's called. And again, this game's development is amazing. Like it started out just being this very simple <laughs> artwork and graphic layout, and now we have like a full 3D. Uh, it's looking really, it looks really good as well. I think. <laughs> right. So we start off here in a. This is like the little village. That's like a base for us, basically. And from here we can um, venture out, and we're going to. Sort of, I think there's three paths, unless they change that. But like, you go on these like paths, and there's like bosses, and then there's a big boss at the end. I'm gonna start by talking to this guy here, a lost soul. And again, I am going to mainly look through the gameplay uh, parts here, so I'm not gonna like go through the story the too much. Also, Already uh, you? you know, if you play, you can get into this whole thing here. But we get a new quest and get rid of a beast. Okay. So slay the stone golem is the first one here. I think that's the same one last time. Uh, what the what the patch note said here that they added is a bunch of new like items and monsters and and these like mini bosses from what I understand. So this is like how we venture out here. Uh, we have a okay. This is new. We used to have a little mini bar right. Now we have a we have a candle there. Wow, this looks amazing. So we got a little candle when we go out. Well, you don't have to, but it's, it's a good idea because there's like weirdness out here. And if you go around here without the lit candle, then uh, you will like face monsters and you will be weaker in some ways. Here's a little monster here. Let's check it out. And this will not be a super long stream. I'm planning for like an hour mainly to check out the new things. This is uh, a new monster, I think. I don't recognize this guy. It looks <laughs> disgusting. Or maybe it's just new artwork uh, for the guy. I don't know. Again, tell me in the live chat if there's any issues with the stream or the sound levels and so on. I hope they are okay uh, to uh, hear me and hear the game as well. Right, so we have a bunch of cards here in our hand. This is a card game, basically. With like a deck builder sort of we build up our deck as we go we can you know, get rid of bad cards we can get new cool cards as we level up we'll get to pick new cards and special abilities as well uh, our passive effect here right now uh, let's see can we click the okay we don't now no, no, we don't start with any passives 
So if we go up here, so we have like a... Okay, that's a burn level. Oh, I activated a new warm candle. I didn't need to do that. Okay, they moved it around. You used to be able to just hold your mouse. Okay, well here we have the Berserker. So once per round, we can, like we can do an ultimate ability uh, to gain life steal. We can heal up when we strike someone. Uh, but to do that, we need to charge this up. So we need to have maximum of 12 charges and we get charges when we take hits. So we sort of want to take hits in this one, but like not too strong hits. Uh, this enemy here is going to hit us for 8 to 11. He intends to do an attack. He has a base 7 to 9, armor and so on. Um, so we could block here. I think that's a good idea. Well, in a sense, we do want to take hits. But I'm going to block the first here. So we have one block in effect. So the next attack against us will not do any damage. Uh, which is a lot of the strategy in this game. It's very interesting. Like if you have multiple enemies and a block will block like everything so if someone is doing a bunch of damage to you then uh, you want to block that but they also go in order you'll see that later on when we meet more enemies uh we have an attack here deal one hit for four to six and reduce enemy's armor by 25 for two turns that's a good one to start off with lowering its armor there we go and then we can do small strike or the same again i think we'll do this small strikes and as you can see now the hit value here has a little um green text or green color is because his armor is lowered and I just realized something that I need to move my logo for this game it's different for every game I play so I keep forgetting to move it uh, there we go so you can see it and if I move myself as well you see down there we have the, the character uh, that is the berserker and everything I keep forgetting that I have my little overlay thing on sorry um, hey buster yeah 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 Le yeah, it used to be a top-down view. It looks so good now. Um, Alright. So anyway, we have one more action because we have three energy. And these cards have a cost of energy. So right now every card costs one. But you can get better cards later on that cost more and so on. So let's do a small strike here. Five to seven. And it's going to be three times. So he took some damage. And now we need to end our turn with the hourglass. And we got a weird card. Forces of weirdness. Since Okay. Um, hmm. This is new. So, depending on our worm candle, we get different kinds of cards. So now we got tainted. Okay. Now we got tainted force. Reduce damage of all enemies by 100% this turn. Oh. If we don't play it, the next turn reduce the cost of two random cards by two. Oh. That's cool. That's a totally new effect here. So because we have the worm candle at a certain burn level, at ultra, um, then we got a good card basically. So I guess if we are low on worm candle, we might get a negative card that clog up our deck. That's pretty cool, but I don't think... We're gonna wait and have three cards next turn instead, I think. So let's just attack this guy a bit now. And he died, but he turns into these smaller versions of himself. Alright. All right, so they didn't act right away. So now two cards here, two random cards got free uh, in energy cost because of that worm card. That is a cool effect. Let's see if we can get rid of one of them at least. There we go. And he's just gonna hit for five to seven. So I don't think, I mean, I can do this, gain extra armor. Retaliate is pretty cool though. Let's do that. Well, actually, I think we can kill now. Almost kill him, but I think we're gonna kill him now because of retaliate. Let's see. There we go. And we level up instantly. In the beginning here, you level up really quick, uh, which is kind of fun as well. I like that. So we can see our wealth. We don't have any weird stone. That's what you get for like completing a level, basically. Um, and then you can use that to upgrade the city, the little city or the village you're in. Which is really cool as well. You can find like new, when you start off, I didn't go through it, but when you start off, the village only has a few merchants. And then there's a bunch of empty houses. And then as you go out adventuring, you will meet different like people and priests and merchants and witches or whatever. Uh, that you can invite to your village and then they will be there for all your place. So even if you like die and lose this game, because if you die, then you have to restart. But then the village will still be keep its upgrades, which is cool. And you will keep your bird stone as a uh, currency. 
All right, so we can pick between a uh, new card here. We could get the stunning shout, stun all enemies with no or negative armor. Or reposition, discard your hand and draw five cards. That's pretty good if we just want to find other cards. That's better later on though when we have more good cards to draw. Meditation, next turn increase your damage by 100%. That's really good. We can set up like, we can set up a good damage turn. I think I like that one. Let's take that. Then we also get to pick a passive skill. So Frenzy, whenever we have less than 25% HP, increase damage by 75%. Death Crusher, whenever you have less than 25% HP, duplicate every attack type card, so it will trigger twice. Now, this character is a lot about like going down to low health, because uh, that's how you maximize. But I do want more health here in the beginning, I don't want to die, so let's get 75 max HP. Now, let's see how much HP we have in total, so I think we can, here we go, it's a character screen. We have 175 now. Oh, that's a big... Imp we went from 100 to 175 then. And, yeah, so the Berserker, like, gets stronger when they are wounded, basically. Um, there's our ultimate, gaining life steal. So, basically, you can take a bunch of hits, get low in life, do a lot of damage, but also do life steal and get your health back, basically. Uh, we can reforge things here. Uh, it's pretty cool with, like, a system of crystals basically that you forge into or like runes actually it's called here they are so you have runes that you can craft and combine and then put into your gear to make it better we have some items we have some health healing mixtures here some health potions and some weird candles so we need to uh, navigate this weird uh, environment as we are in here and again i think it looks so good it's like the theme the atmosphere of this game is really strong with the music and the sounds like the it's really dark and uh, I mean the board game is the same right the, the whole like uh, Arthurian legend and these weird weird monsters or actually weird as it's called in the game here's this guy looks like bigger one a uh, pack of enemies let's let's meet them and see what happens all right so now we got a card here we got the same one here reduce yeah so I think we're gonna keep this and just wait to get, if not played, draw two cards more. Oh, that's not that great since we don't have that much energy. Uh, now let's play this then, reducing their armor. That's always good. They are at minus here. And wow, this guy looks, they look really nice. Look very good. So this is a Sentinel, uh, redirects damage from all its allies to itself. Okay, so it's like a tank basically. This one here is a deformed peasant. Looks like something out of Silent Hill, basically. And he becomes stronger with every hit it suffers. All right. They're both gonna attack me. So I guess I could... I'm gonna do the fortify. I like the idea of getting hit, but retaliate at the same time. And I could stun one of them, but I don't want to. I think I'm just gonna attack. And this is going to reduce armor, so that's good. So let's reduce armor on this one here. And there's no point in attacking this guy, I guess, because he will just soak up the damage. There we go. And now that I took some hits. And again, I, this is annoying. I wonder if I can move myself. Yeah, I'm gonna... I didn't... Think. I didn't know that they had moved the... Uh, let's do this. Okay, here we go. They moved. It used to be in the top right corner, but now it's down here. So now you can't see it if I don't move myself. So as you can see now, I have 2 out of 12 on my charges. If I keep loading that up, I think I need to get to 4. Um, it doesn't really say, but I think I need to get to 4 to, in order to trigger this and start the life steal. But like the longer I wait... The stronger, the more uh, life I will steal for each hit I do. I'm surprised that I can't see that here. Hmm, I don't know. All right, let's do the meditation. So next turn, damage will be increased by 100%. That's good. And let's also do this one here to retaliate. I get more armor as well. And small strikes would be bad here because it's three hits. It's gonna be random who it hits. I don't want to hit this guy because if he's... No, no, no. He will take all the damage, I guess. So let's do it. It redirects to the Sentinel, so... 
All right, so next turn my damage will be increased 100%. Uh, so now I have 200% there, that's good. Okay, so let's do a bunch of attacks if I can. We have the small strikes. Let's do this first to lower armor. I don't have that many attack cards now though. Um, let's fortify them. Next turn, let's try out. Let's see if I can use my ultimate ability here as well. Oh, I can. So now I have life steal for this turn. Uh, it would be good to just kill him because he gets stronger. Yeah. All right. Let me level up again. New card: protect from evil. Reduce damage de dealt by all en enemies by thirty percent for two turns. Calm breeze: uh, reduce the energy cost of three cards in hand by one. Oh, that's uh, nice because it cost me two to play it. But three cards will be free, basically, if it's one cost card. Random attack. Deal one hit for 150% damage to random enemies. Stun a random enemy. Reduce random enemies' armor by 50. I like this one here. I like this Calm Breeze. And here's an altar. So let's see what that is about. Can I... Oh, there we go. Uh... So a guy shows up in dark robe, says we're not worthy, go away. What? Exactly what I said, you're not worthy of being here, not unless you're an acolyte of the meat giver. Okay, so we just have to leave. I'm not really sure what that means. Let's head over here, there's something over here as we can see on the minimap. Oh, there's a milestone, okay, that's cool. So these milestones it's a are... It's mystery why these stones light up and banish the weirdness when people walk by. Yeah. Many believe okay, Merlin himself talking. invented the runes carved into them. There's also a darker rumor. That they were left by the four dwellers to lure humans into their domain. Like moths to the flame. So this is like a save point in a sense. Not that you can save, but like we can, we can travel from here. Um, which is cool. And this also like gets rid of weirdness around it. So we can boost it. But I think that costs a flame or a torch. Or we can extinguish it. This is new as well. So you can get rid of it to get, receive a worm candle. That's cool. Ask for a blessing. Oh, this is all new. It used to be just that you could travel with it. Uh, lose the milestone and get a random bonus. Um, so wait, how do we... Oh, we can't travel anymore? Huh. Okay, so just boosted its range. I think maybe we should. Maybe we should get rid of it. Um, it used to be like you travel by these, but maybe not all of them. Maybe they are different or something. Kind of hard to see where I can go. I think it's here. I basically have to follow the minimap to understand where the paths are because the the graphics is pretty cool. It just blends in together. Here's an enemy though. Pack of enemies. Let's try them out. Okay, so that's the same tank guy. This is something new. Faceless Hunter. Looks pretty nasty and it has four arms. <laughs> Which these faceless guys uh, have in this, in this world. This universe. So it's gonna deliver more hits, hits each turn unless it's stunned. Okay. It starts off with just one attack, six to eight, but it's gonna do work more and more. Alright, so maybe we do want to stun it. We got a card here from the weirdness, so that's Tainted Force. Reduce damage of all enemies by 50% this turn. If we don't play it, reduce the cost of one random card by one. I think we're not going to play it. But we are going to play the Calm Breeze, because this will reduce the energy cost of three cards in our hand by one. Okay, so now, oh, it's random. Huh, I thought we could pick, but okay. So we can do the stun. Let's stun this guy now. Then we can lower the armor of this here. We can fortify. And... The fortify is free. Why not? Let's keep lowering this ar guy's armor here. So small strike. It's all redirected from this guy though. So it's the this this one here taking the damage. 
And now he's doing two attacks. He's just getting worse. Let's stun him. And that's the small strikes. And now he's resetting, which is nice. So we need to stun him on a regular basis. So Calm Breeze. Uh, we can do some block for free, fortify for free, meditation for free. And then keep hitting this one here. And we got a new card. Gain 50% damage this turn. Yeah, sure. Now that guy is gone, so we can start hitting this one here. Let's do that. Now we got a two weird stone as well, so we're starting to build up that currency. And here's another altar. This is an old mother's altar, so I guess it's a bit different here. For every ten people who set sail for Avalon, only four would reach the island. And only one or two would survive the first year. It's cool with this uh, voiceover, I think. It's really the shrine dramatic. has faint traces of power lingering in the air. A priestess materializes out of the weirdness and asks what it is that you're looking for. Okay. Uh, we can get healed, a blessing, that, then we can get a legendary card. We can rob the shrine. Uh, I've done this in previous playthroughs. You can get 500 coins, but something might help happen. I'm not going to say it. Uh, I'm going to heal. Get 10 health. 10 health. That wasn't much. I thought we would be like fully healed or something. There's a blacksmith. That's cool. So this is a guy that we can recruit, I think, into our village. First, we have to fight the monster next to him. Okay, so these are new monsters here. Uh, Warp Light Seeker. This enemy's power changes depending on your weird candle's burn level. Oh, that's so cool that I implemented the weird candle into the actual fights. It just used to be that you run around um, with it just to stay away from bad stuff happening in between the fights. I like that I implemented it like this. So this is a healer, so he's gonna heal for 8 to 12. Wow, this has been nice upgrades to the graphics here, and yeah, so cool. I think we need to kill the healer first, basically. What's our card? It's 20% damage this turn. If we don't play it, we get 5 armor. So this is like a worse version of the one we just had. And that's probably because the weird candle has started to burn out. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, let's get 5 armor next time. I think we want to do the calm breeze. Then we could stun him. Increase damage next turn. Okay, that sounds good. And let's start hitting them. Kill this healer. Oh, we should have done the calm breeds actually. Or not. I mean, it makes cards free, so. It's, it's kind of easy here in the beginning, but then when we get to some bosses and so on, that can be really, really hard. We're also playing on like the first difficulty level because it's our first time through the game. Here's the blacksmith. I have no hope, no home, no gold. Mine is but misty morn and cold. Right. Um, Boy, traveler, wanna buy a good anvil? Is all I have, I'm afraid. My own, my own, you see, went poof. One minute there, next minute gone, and I found myself here. With this lump of iron for company. I swear to God, it started talking to me not long ago. Okay, seems a little bit crazy, but we can ask him what he does. What do you craft? Um, he's only interested in rune stones, okay? And he's telling us we can use them to enhance our weapons or armor. And when we find three of the same kind of rarity, we can fuse them together. And he's giving us some. Cool. I wonder if we can get him... Oh, yeah, yeah, I could use someone like you in my village. You want me in your village? Well, you must first prove you can take care of yourself. Kill ten bears and... <laughs> <laughs> Just fooling, for pity's sake. 
What would I need tin bears for? Show me the way. Cool. So now he's gonna go to the village. He's gonna be in the village, and we can like he can help us out with with rune stone combinations and so on. Let's check out the rune stones we got from him. So we got one here, the cracked gar. Uh, if we put it in the weapon slot, it increases damage by two. If we put it in the armor slot, at the end of your turn, deal one hit for five damage to all enemies. That's good. And the other one, the Cracked Calc, is in weapon. In first turn of combat, draw an additional card with its cost reduced by one. Oh, nice. In armor slot, heal for five after every combat one. That's all. I'm going to put this in the weapon. So we'll draw an additional card at the first turn, and that's going to be reduced cost by one. And we'll put this uh, in our armor slot. So now we have, uh, at the end of our turn, deal one hit for five damage to all enemies. That's very good. So... We got the first rune stones, and you keep getting these and like combining them, and they get stronger and stronger. I like that system. It's fun with a little bit of crafting in in these games as well. There's a few fortune seller, the merchant. Basically, can we talk to him? I think we need to beat this enemy first. And it's so cool because this world as we're in, or like this map, is like what's it called? Proceed general. What's it called? It's like randomly proceeded. So like every time we play, it's gonna be different, and we're gonna be. We need to play a bunch of games over and over and over to find all the uh, village uh, sort of persons that we can invite to the village and so on. Here's the abdomination. He's attacking everyone, so he's attacking his friends as well, which is pretty cool. And the deranged red priest. Uh, this looks like something out of the expansions for Tainted Grail. I haven't started playing those yet. I uh, have to do that this summer the board game and he can create barriers to protect his allies okay and our card here is probably pretty bad since our burn level is low it reduces damage for all enemies by 20% if we don't play it and increase random card cost oh it increases a random card cost by one so we really want to play it otherwise it's gonna be bad for us we need to light a new candle soon I think let's lower let's go for the healer again let's lower his Armor. And now he put a barrier on this guy, so. And I think we want to lower this one's armor. Let's see if we can kill the healer. Not enough. Okay. But as you can see there, I did a, de a strike at the end of my turn. Five damage to everyone uh, because of that rune. So the runes are really good. Try to kill the barrier. There we go. Uh, so we'll do the calm breeze here. Fortify. Small strikes. And we can play everything we can get. And I just realized something. Why do we have four energy? Ah! We're a passive thing we have here. When you're below 50% HP, gain plus one energy. So that's really cool since we're on low HP. But we do need to heal up a bit. So let's do lifesteal. Get a new card. This can stun a random enemy. Why not? I think we're gonna kill him anyway, but yeah. And level up. So counter. Gain one block for each enemy alive. Oh, that's good. That's a new card. All they in this turn increase the damage you deal by 50%, and then Steel Eater reduce enemy's armor by 100% damage until the end of combat. That's a good one, especially good against like big enemies. Soul Trap passive skill so increase our max HP by two after each victorious combat. Ooh, wow, we could become huge now in HP. Fear for the first three hits in combat, reduce armor for all enemies by 25. And whenever we receive a hit, reduce enemy's armor by 10. I'm gonna do the soul trap. I like having a big HP pool. And we got a new rune stone. So this is in weapon slot. Yeah, it's the same. Oh yeah, yeah we can see it on the, on the symbol, obviously. It's the same like this one. So if we get three of these, then we can combine them into a stronger version of the uh, gar. That's what I think it's called, right? Yeah. And see current effects. Okay. 
So let's see what this fortune seller will sell us. And this elegant woman is asking us if we need some guidance. Change the fate. Open the shop. Okay, so we can buy a runestone, fully charged ultimate ability. Uh, talking skull, discard all cards on hand, draw three new cards. Town of tone tome of knowledge, draw a card. Blood candle, that's something new. Sacrifice 10% of our max HP to light the worm candle. And Wayfair leaves offer 10 HP and gain 1 energy. So we give up health. And the mushroom, nobody knows what will happen after eating this. <laughs> I don't think I want to gamble on that. Not right now at least. So what do we have? We have 149 wealth. Don't want to sell anything. I don't really need runestones right now. But I don't think we're going to buy anything. I want to save money to get a better weapon and so on back in the village. So we're not going to buy anything. But we need to light a candle. No, we have some, some left here. Uh, Alright, here's another pack of enemies. And where are we? Combreeze. Start off there. Get 45 for free. Block for free. I need to block twice, but anyway, let's stun him. Like total overkill here. Let's just lower armor. And yeah, we could no, that's just attack. Got a card, a barrier on all enemies. Yeah. So it's like either we play it now, we create a 10 barrier on all enemies, or if not played. We lose 10% of our current HP in the next round. And this is because we have a like, low on the burn level. So we shouldn't walk around like that. So, but I don't think there's going to be a next round. Oh, we only have two attacks though. We do play this. I don't want to lose HP. Yeah, that didn't matter that much. I killed it anyway. I like having four energy. <laughs> it's nice sitting around with 50% HP. Oh, almost dead. But then, oh, it dies from my do 5 damage at the end of my turn thing. So that's good. Oh, we like that. But now we're just gonna. There we go. Okay, so are we heading back? I think we'll... There's another enemy. Oh, that's a big one, though. That's our worm candle, so... I think we're gonna ask for a blessing. Damage increased in the next combat encounter. That's not a bad idea. We'll light a new candle. We are a bit low on health, though. I mean, we could bring some healing mixtures. On the other hand, if we're low on health, we get an extra energy. So I think we'll... Hey, Bjorn and JB. Probably gonna die here. Let's see. Oh, yes, a thousand health. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> okay, so the Tainted Force here. Reduce an armor of all enemies by 25 for three turns. If you don't play, you draw an extra card. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna reduce this armor. And let's do Calm Breeze. Lower armor again. Re-attack. 45. I really like the Calm Breeze. It lets us do so many actions in one turn. Okay, so he's getting more damage. This boss will spawn a new enemy after being stunned or after suffering several hits. The stun will permanently reduce his armor. Oh, so we should stun him. Let's do that. That lowered his armor. He spawned a stone, a moving stone. That looks funny. Um, so... Let's keep lowering his armor. Yeah, 
Maybe we should hit the little guy actually. I think we need to we need to drink one of these as well. Um, so I think we need to take out the small enemies first. And yeah, now he's found another one. No, 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 45. Thank you, Bjorn. The Discord channel has been fairly inactive, but it's, you know, it's always good to people join it and set up some online gaming together and so on in there. Uh, so this is a risk card. Stun the golem, but we lose 10 armor. Oh. I don't know why we got that card. It must have been some kind of effect. Need to kill these small ones here. Or if I reduce enemy's armor, yeah, so he's like really going down in armor. I think we need to next turn. I think we need to put on the ultimate skill here, so we start getting some life back. Oh, we're down! Oh wow, we're gonna die. I think. We are gonna die. Mm. We'll reduce armor even more. Seize the opportunity. I don't know why we keep getting these great cards. Is it because of these guys? Oh, when they're killed, they add helpful cards to our hand. Oh, so it's a really good idea to beat the small ones. Cool, cool, cool. I didn't realize that. You should always like hover over the enemies if it's a new type that you don't recognize. So. Well, we got a bunch of enemy, a bunch of HP back actually, and a new card we can hit him with. And I think we'll fortify here. We can do some retaliation. And as you saw there, the life steal was in effect, like in the retaliation as well. So that's really good. Get one of these again. We can stun the golem. Which does spawn a new guy here, but. Just double block actually. And we got one of these again. Just keep hitting this one here. And I like that we get. That's a really cool effect. Like, sure, he has a thousand HP, but we keep getting like good cards from his minions. Now I have too much health because now I'm back down to three energy. <laughs> I lost my special ability there. I'm in bad shape. Let's do this life steal again. Calm breeze. I am sh not sure that I will survive this. But I can block. That's good. Fortify. And next turn, increase your damage by 100%. This is going to help out. New card. Stun an enemy. Yeah. And the risk card, oh that's stun the golem, so that was a bit weak, but can stun that guy. This music is so uh, <laughs> crazy. Very good music in this game though. Um, okay, good attack there. Wow, we're doing a bunch of damage now, because his armor is so low. And we had the meditation going, so we had 100% energy. Let's block. There we go. Nice. I didn't think we were gonna make that, but it's often like that. It's, it's a really strong enemy, then you, it also has some effects that helps you out. We got a weird candle, that's good. We do need that. And the golem collapses. And we complete the objective. Uh, that was good. And then there's like this you goat see, guy that follows us around and story-wise things. Uh, you know which human emotion is the strongest? Let's say fear. Yes, and every answer was correct. You All right. 
I'm not gonna go through all this uh, story this text here in this playthrough. Oh, uh, in my last go, playthrough, I, even more good news I did more of that. Yes, you guessed right. You deserve a reward. Okay, we can get a passive skill. If you played one or less cards in a turn, next turn get 100% damage. We're never playing one card. Draw two more cards in the first turn. I like this one. After killing an enemy, heal yourself for 5 HP. That's good. So basically we have completed the first, so it's like a portal here. We have completed the first path. Uh, so then it opens up a new path. Uh, treasure Guardian. Oh cool. I want treasure. Some big rat. Oh, it's actually a bunch of them. <laughs> wow, they look so nasty now. Like dead skulls. I mean, these guys... Um, I remember how they looked like six months ago. And <laughs> they just updated them. It's so good. Rat King. Okay, he's not gonna attack unless he's alone. But he's making his ally stronger. And the Rat Queen. This enemy increases damage of its most wounded allies. Ravenous rat. Oh, this, oh, they're all different. Or sort of. There's a bunch of ravenous rats. Yeah, these get, guys get more da They do the more damage for every one of them on the battlefield. So I need to take out these first. Stun a random enemy. I'm not going to do that. Uh, Calm breeze. I'm going to let this card... Like, if not played, we get a barrier next turn instead. And it costs one, so... I'd rather start killing these... Ravenous once. I'm low on health though. Maybe it was stupid to get into this fight here. Uh, too quickly. I wanted a treasure, that's the thing. Okay, I got a little bit of a barrier. Now we need to do this to heal a bit. And we need to kill some of these here. The lowers the other's damage. That's they look so nasty. Um, let's double block. Wow, taking so much damage. Now we have barriers on them as well. I think we are done for. Let's kill the queen here if we can. No. Uh, okay, I think we. I think we're dead. Let's see. <laughs> 16 HP. Life steal for sure. Uh, lower armor. Let's kill the queen here. Then we can double block. Might help. Yeah, sort of. Still alive at least. Card, reduce armor. Uh, calm breeze for sure. Then we can play this. Lowering their armor, small strike. No! I was hoping we are going to hit the, that one. It double blocks, so I think we're okay. It's going to be very tight. 17 HP left. But I'm pretty sure we can kill this. No. So close. Okay. So now he's going to start attacking because he's alone. But he's not attacking now. He's gonna do a buff, so we have like one extra turn here. Let's reduce this end armor again. So now always doing a bunch of attacks actually. Which means we should probably stun him. Oh he's immune to stun. Oh I could have seen that if I again need to look at those little symbols before we do stuff. Alright, let's do 45 so we at least hit him back. I think we're dead. <laughs> we're still alive. Alright. Calm breeze. Small strikes. Small strikes. Fortify. We can do two attacks and just hope for the best. I should have activated that maybe. We can do it now. Oh, wow. That was very close. <laughs> that was too close. Uh, I should have gone and like healed first before I did that. But Whirlwind. Heal one hit for 75% damage to all enemies. That's pretty cool. Storm of Blades though. Deal four hits for 100% damage to random enemies. It's like a stronger small strikes. 
piercing strikes reduce enemy armor by 50 and damage by 10% for the next 5 round turns. I like the Storm of Blades. I don't have that many big cards that are expensive, so I think it's okay to take that one. And look at the treasure pile. Oh, 100. 100 here, and then we can gain 30 max HP. We can get 100 more, we can get 2 more damage. I want damage, I think, because I already took a bunch of health upgrades. So now we need to go back and heal, really. Uh, I'm just looking around. If there's more, there's another enemy over there, but I don't want to fight anyone now. Uh, that would be really be pressing our luck. I think we're running back to town. That's our weird candle going out. Oh no! Um, oh, we met this. Okay, I thought there was an enemy. Oh, we got worm candles from this guy. Okay. Why can't I do... So there's like a short cut for lighting the worm candle. One, okay, okay. Oh, can't I go in? Oh, it's like a portal. It's not actually... Huh, it's not connected. That's weird. Huh. Well, maybe I need to take this portal that show... Oh, yeah, yeah, I need to do this return to base over here. I thought I could just walk there, but... There's something new as well that there's... Okay, there we go. So instead of teleporting with the stones, it seems now we can do this. So this is like an empty house, so we need to find someone to live here. Here's the blacksmith, though, that we met. Let's talk to him. If I can figure out how to do it. Here we go. Um, who are you talking about? I guess he has some quest for us. Okay, here's some runestone management. We can talk to him as well. can read that if you play the game yeah new quest we need to find someone <laughs> we can upgrade his abilities but that would cost I guess it costs worm stones right oh it costs some other currency that we don't have a rune stone dust okay that's new <laughs> every time you merge rune stones you earn some rune stone dust then we can use that currency to buy permanent upgrades in his shop. That's cool. That's totally new. It used to be wormstone for everything, but that's cool. Um, then we can sh buy some rune stones. And I think it's... Yeah, we want one of these. Then we want to combine... Change upgrades. Uh, Rooster management. Here, I think it is now. Oh, maybe we combine ourselves in the. So now we have three that are the same. Combine. Here we go. So now we have a polished car instead. Uh, tier two. So now it's. It would do four damage if it's in the weapon slot, but here it's gonna do. 8 damage to all enemies at the end of every turn instead of 5. So that's cool. I like this. Like, I love this kind of games. Like upgrading. Um, then we need to talk to this a lost soul here. Which is a merchant. You did it. Didn't you? You've slain the beast. I felt something unusual. As if some tremendous power was suddenly released. Hitting this land like a wave. He nods. I have to be honest. He looks okay. at you with his blank stare. You're sure you've noticed a brief glimmer of hope in his eye. So trust increased. That's pretty cool. So he's like trusting us more. So here we can do he here we can heal and so on. Ask to be healed. We can upgrade this for 250 weird stone. So I think it means right now we can rest. 
get the health. And we could get one more for 750 Witchstone, but I think if we upgrade him, I think this is going to be better, basically. And here's a way to pick a quest card. That's really cool. They introduced this in the last patch where you can get quests. Um, but to unlock this, we need 50 Witchstone, so we have 29. So that's one of the first things I think I will do. Uh, but I do want to spend some money now to buy some healing mixtures. And we can upgrade this for... Ooh, let's do that. Let's upgrade this. I think that's worth it. So now, I think the healing mixtures became stronger. Yeah, it's 30 HP now. It used to be 25. So we can keep upgrading the mixtures. And the cool thing is, these upgrades, they stay in between plays or in between runs. So, um... Let's talk to him again. Who are you? New quest, okay. I think we can see the quests over here somewhere, right? So we have the main quest. Let's find the second guardian. Then we have a side quest here. Um, the blacksmith was madly in love. And we need to find the girl. And we have find all of the villagers. Yeah, yeah, that's the one we just like trying to find everyone in the village here. So there's like a bunch of empty houses. And now I think there's a new path. Let's see if you go over here. And light the candle. Fight this one here. Host of evil. What is this? Bone idol? When killed, this enemy will steal one of your cards. However, it will just disappear when there are no allies on the battlefield. Okay, so we don't need to kill this one. Soul blade. Each hit received by this enemy will make it deal one more hit in its next attack. Ooh. Then it says color. So I guess that's some uh, programming gone wrong there. Um, with the brackets and this guy will heal I think we'll kill the healer first so we got a card here reduce damage of all enemies by 20% this turn if we don't play it then increase random cards cost by ones so we do need to play it and we got a free block so we get one card uh, for free start each turn um, yeah let's do the calm breeze here so that way we can play one more card then if we just, you know, use the other card. Okay. We only have three energy now because we have so much... Well, we have, we're above 50% HP. I do want to kill the healer. So... Fortify. He's healing as well. Let's just keep hitting this one here. Nice. And I like the 45 because it retaliates on all his attacks, right? So. Okay, we're really low on health. Let's activate the lifesteal. Yeah, let's do Storm of Fate. New card here. Stun the enemy. If not played, we get in a barrier. I do like the idea of stunning. Oh, it was a random enemy. Okay, I thought I could pick. Oh, nice. I got killed. <laughs> you did so many small attacks. Alright, so I'm dead. But that uh, makes it so that I can show you how that works, because again, this playthrough of this stream is basically to show you how the new game works here. Um, Finally! Now we can start the cycle of proper rebirth. Yeah, we'll just rebirth. Be gone. Can I invite you to the table? A hooded figure waiting by a table. Oh, it's death. Um, I admit. 
are not you. Yeah, so I'm dead. Yeah. Recent and then and basically we can. The part of the you must. This will lead you to your destination. Yeah, we're gonna slay some guardians. And now we get one corruption, which means I think the like the difficulty level of the game increases. Um, and we see we like seen the bosses here, the enemies, eight out of forty-three. Locations found, one out of fourteen. Okay, we found one in NPC, the blacksmith, right? So it says zero. I don't know. Now we get a blessing. Um, or we can do, I don't need a blessing. I don't know why you would do that. You want to make it harder for yourself. Let's start with some wealth. Uh, that's cool. And then we can start over. And we get to pick a new um, class if we want to. So we could do like the blood mage here. Just like summoning nasty stuff. And we need to pick one of these. We can start with one of these. I think we want to start with the blood of domination. He's doing good damage. And then the game would be basically like everything is reset except for the village and our weirdstone currency then. We still have our four weirdstone that we had and the blacksmith is still here. I think, do we have our runes? No, the runes are gone. And like the deck is obviously reset. And I like that you can keep playing, it's like you play over and over in the same game but you can pick different classes and have fun with. And you can like go here, you can like upgrade this guy. Uh, so he becomes better and better, right? So now we still have third HP on these healing mixtures here. So if you want to buy one of these. And uh, then we just head out there again. Fight some enemies. And that's the game. Really cool. And you can really spend a lot of hours in this. Uh, I will. Uh, my You know, the save file got deleted because they released a new update. So my old save file was gone. So I'll just start building on this, I guess. And... Uh, dive more into it and if you want to see me play like more of a playthrough style where I play and play and play for streams then let me know in the comment section below and if you like this kind of video then press the like button and subscribe to the channel as well for more videos coming um, there's a mix of of course board game videos on the table and digital games uh, that are board game related that I do on the channel so hope you had a good time watching this I had a good time streaming I think this game is amazing and you know go check it out if you're curious Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, morning, or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye.